Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you. Um, it's been a while since I did a voiceover for a video. So here we are into an 11 by 14 canvas with a little bit of a skinny row. And I'll explain these coming up in a sec here, but let's get right into it. And now real quick off the hop here. So I'll explain. This pour is actually basically a bit of a do over. I had some technical difficulties with my camera about three days ago, three nights ago, when I poured and finished at 11.45 p.m. roughly, and came to edit the next morning and saw my video was all blurry. And I tried my best to get the video to render itself back to a bit of a state where I could actually edit and get a pour for you on camera, but not so. So this is a bit of a take two, we'll call it, of this type of pour. And here I am just laying down some turquoise, some metallic silver and some copper with some very skinny rows. And I'll explain why in a few seconds. And now shout out to my, one of my subscribers, Willa, who recommended this particular color combination, less the copper, she asked for orange, which I don't have. So we are going with turquoise, a silver and a copper. And thank you, Willa, for that recommendation on this color of pour. Okay, and back to why I'm making these rows fairly skinny. So I found that in previous pours with copper and silver, especially with any kind of lighter color like a blue or turquoise, I found that the copper really kind of takes over the entire piece. I wanted to be sure that I had skinny lines across the board and wanted to make them as little as possible, knowing that if I were to swipe through them, I wouldn't have a big gob of copper that blended through all of it and kind of muddied it up. So this is why I chose to go really skinny with lots of layers, figuring that the, uh, the turquoise would do a good job in spreading across the copper and silver, just again, not to make it too muddy with the copper. And now I wanted to take a quick second to thank you all for being here. Those who have been around on my channel for some time or from the earlier stages of my, my porting career, we'll call it. I appreciate it. Those of you in the past month, between month and six months new to this channel. Thank you for being here. You guys are awesome. You have put um, a ton of confidence into what I do. And with great feedback on my weekly pours, I have found that it keeps me going. And with your feedback, which is typically pretty positive, so thank you. Even when I think I'm doing a lackluster job, it's always great feedback and I appreciate you. So. Uh, if you're new, thank you for being here. If you are an OG, I appreciate you. And um, we'll get into some pouring and some swipes here in a second. Okay, now one thing I've never actually shown you is how I just lay my type, my cell activator down. It's on top of a yogurt container. So I dump my, my Amsterdam titanium white into a yogurt container, which just gives me coverage and a bit of a lip to not lose it all. And dip my palette knife inside and here we're off to the races. So this swipe I am incredibly, incredibly happy with because I took my time. I wanted a bit of a wavy, look to it, knowing that I wanted to spread that turquoise and bronze, sort of the copper together and see what kind of um, color combination it gave out. So that first one went really, really well. Now, as for my second swipe, this one was, had, had really good potential. Right about here, I dunked it right into the paint a bit too heavy and began to muddy up my paints, which didn't give me the nice um, lacing effects I wanted. More of a muddy look, but you know, you kind of go with the flow, right? Now, as for this tilting, I'm simply trying to spread the lacing out as best I can without losing much paint. I wanted to stretch them both uh, left to right and see what kind of, um, you know, lacing 
spread I could get for lack of better words. So I'm going to put this back down in a second here, but it, this was step one of a couple step process on this pour. I wanted to just again create the the effect where the lacing was pulling apart a little bit and get a bit more color across the entire canvas. Okay, and here we are into step two of this pour. So swipes first, then a marble. Who doesn't love to roll marbles around in paint? This is a very calming thing to do on a paint pour. I find that um, all I'm attempting to do is get the paints to really just you try to spread in each other to get a good pattern going back and forth. This isn't all day. This is just to again create that separation from the copper, the turquoise and the silver to make some other cool patterns inside of the lacing that was made off the beginning of the swipe. And shortly hereafter, I just let it drop off the corner of my canvas and let it roll away. And from here, I let the paint settle too. So this is probably three minutes or so later once the marble's fallen off, all of my divots have fallen into place and come into, have settled into the, the pour. So from here, it's simply a matter of stretching out and seeing where we go. Now after the marble, there really wasn't much tilting to be done. I wasn't, I didn't have much paint left to be honest, um, compared to my last go with the metallic red, the blue and the cobalt blue, which I used prior in the video, we couldn't see. There was a lot more paint and it was way more thin. So this was a bit more goopy and a bit more, uh, a little more thick, I suppose. And I didn't tilt long at all. So I kind of sped this up through the end and um, we are coming to the end here. So if you have enjoyed this video, um, please consider clicking the like button on this video, which helps to spread it to more people who might enjoy it. And uh, no, so again, we don't do too much tilting here, coming to the very end of my tilts and coming in on a bit of an overhead look in a moment here. So here we are. Now as a bit of a quick feedback for you for metallics like a copper and a silver, I found initially when I put this painting down, uh, which is pretty quick here, I wasn't terribly happy with the initial look of the pour. I was like, kind of like, ah, eh, it could be better. But I walked away for about 10 minutes to tidy up and I came back and the cell activation and lacing effects that came out of this pour were just gorgeous. Here's an overhead look of the pour again about 10 minutes later. So it's settling down and the lacing and flow chart in my paints are making some magic happen. So no, when you take your time and you know grab a color combination, which works, just be patient, let the paint do its thing. It will often surprise you. So here's the finished product with a bit of an overhead with again, lots of pretty lacing and affecting in it. So again, if you have enjoyed this video, thank you again. And I have more just like it in this playlist right about here. And we will see you again in the next one.